So if any of you guys are out there and have been struggling just trying to find a certain type of shoe that just, just really fits you and feels comfortable, uh, specifically if you're used to like a zero drop shoe or if you're used to like a shoe with just a basic flat surface. So um, a lot of times I talk to people that are used to just doing weightlifting or they just do traditional, um, they just kind of do basic fitness stuff and they like kind of wearing the same type of shoes which I like to do. I kind of had this basic pair of Nanos that I wore just for everything. Um, and that was, like I said, even I even ran in them very briefly. And then when I started making a transition to more long distance running, which I usually do during the summertime, it's really hard for me to find a good shoe. And I'm definitely kind of of that thought just from experience that I kind of prefer a minimal type of shoe, it just feels more natural to me. And I think that's literally because I'm used to walking around doing other things in a very minimal shoe or a zero drop shoe. So I've tried Vibrams throughout the years. I actually love, I still love Vibrams. Um, again, aesthetically, they're not the best looking shoe, but, and I will even go out and run barefoot, very low mileage getting used to it. But if you're looking to like just jump into that and kind of skip that learning curve, uh, these ultra, ultra shoes are awesome. These are the Ultra Torrens. And without going into too much detail, I went through a lot of shoes and drove a local shoe store crazy trying to find a shoe that really fit me, that allowed me to just basically not only just feel comfortable, but Immediately when I was trying on shoes, I just was not getting that vibe that these shoes felt good and I'm like, is this just me or what? But really it's just the fact of, I was, I think I was just used to a zero drop shoe. I have wider feet. Uh, so every time I go out maybe past three or four miles, I'd start feeling that nagging pain. Not so much, what really was limiting was my shoe. So long story short, once I put these on, they're kind of funky looking, they're a little weird. And again, I wear them just for specifically running. Um, and these ultra shoes, the whole company is zero drop, meaning the, the distance from the heel to the toe is basically, um, there's no like, there's no raised heel, it's all essentially one solid layer. And you can see it's got a huge toe box, and it is kind of goofy a little bit, it kind of reminds me of that shoe on Seinfeld that George was wearing when he was doing like plyometric training, if any of you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, basically it was the only shoe of many that I tried on, and to much of the uh, store owners um, disagreement, they really wanted me to have a running shoe. And uh, once like a last resort said, hey, just try these if you're used to them, they were more of a traditional kind of sense of what they thought a shoe should be as far as having a raised heel and traditional running shoe. I immediately felt comfortable in these. And uh, this was the best shoe that I had that really fit me, especially I have like a wider foot. And these don't really necessarily come in wide widths, but um, you can see that that toe box really opens up and I actually went a little bit of a size bigger. Usually I wear like 11 and a half, but for a lot of running shoes, sometimes they recommend going up a little bit higher just because you are kind of, your feet will start to kind of spread out um, and things like that. So this is actually a 12 and they fit me pretty good. So I still do barefoot running, but if I'm gonna be going, you know, pretty much over three miles, really even over two miles until I gradually get into it, I'm always gonna be wearing these. And I've worn these as far as, as long as I've had these, uh, I probably put maybe 40 miles into these so far and they feel pretty good and um, you know I've gone as long as pretty much almost 10 miles uh, in these so far in a one run and they feel fine um, and just like anything else it's something to kind of get used to so if it's if you're not used to a zero drop shoe you might put these on and think they feel weird and they might feel um, just not as comfortable as a raised heel. But if you're definitely, this is something for some, one of you guys or any of you guys that walk around just zero drop shoes or minimal shoes and um, want to transition to a nice cushion shoe, I'd recommend that one. And this Torin, this is the Torin 2.0 and the difference between this and other models is it has that extra cushion. And I was really on the fence of actually going with a little bit less cushion. But um, like I said, I was looking for something. I knew I was doing more miles and I wasn't really willing to put as much time transitioning into it so I just jumped the 2.0s and I think it's a great shoe they make other versions and I'm actually even this is the first time using this company I might even look into just getting some of their other just um, just their other casual shoes just for walking around and things like that so great shoe and uh, that's it let me know if you guys have any questions thanks